Hi, I am Shay Wow. Now, as you see from the title, we're going to be talking about New Orleans. So, you want to move to New Orleans, huh? Yeah. How about we trade places? Okay. Anyway, this video is going to tell you everything you need to know about living in New Orleans, the pros and the cons. Since I got so much love on my audio I posted, Living in New Orleans Truth, you'll see that card pop up somewhere and you'll definitely see it in the description box. All right, so first I want to give you guys some pros because I think a lot of people just underestimate that. Uh, my last video that is that I do not like living in New Orleans. Okay, I'm not, I didn't say that. I was giving you a negative perspective. Anyway, I'm going to start with the pros. Okay, now you're looking down, so don't be alarmed. The first pro, I want to say that it's so fun living in New Orleans. Okay, there's always something to do. Always some type of festivals going on, some type of freaking parade, always some type of event. I promise you, you would never be bored here. That's what I can promise you, okay? Um, of course, Mardi Gras, the Essence Fest, Jazz Fest, Poor Boy Festival, Shrimp Festival, Gumbo Festival. A lot of freaking festivals. I feel like Forrest Gump just not who. <laughs> like he knows shrimp. Like Bubba knows shrimp. Anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. Yeah, there's so much stuff to do here. You know, be bored. Even if you don't, like, you don't even need money to do, like, have, like, a lot of fun here. You don't, like, you have, like, five dollars to your name. <laughs> and you come down to New Orleans, you can have, you have fun with five dollars. Like, I'm just being honest. You can drive, you can ride the streetcar. Okay, maybe not five dollars, maybe ten dollars. You can ride the streetcar. <laughs> like, the green streetcar, the St. Charles streetcar. And like go get some beignets and coffee downtown or whatever. See the river. Like I can't show y'all any footage right now because what's going on with the COVID nineteen. That was my aim to show y'all like really spot on, oh God, spot on footage of it. But I can't go out because I'm trying to be obedient to the law. Anyway, just imagine it. Like going downtown, riding the streetcar, probably reading a book, reading the streetcar or whatever with your friends. Y'all get downtown, y'all walk over to the river walk. You can go to the mall or you can go just look at the river walk, look at the water, and go get you some beignets. Like, that will cost you like less than to know. Okay? Let me know what you look for tomorrow. Whew, God, it's so hot in here. All right, believe it or not, New Orleans is relatively still affordable. <laughs> I don't want to go into prone, but I will uh, eventually. But New Orleans is still affordable. Like, if you, it's, it's expensive. But there are still like cities around that surrounds New Orleans that are affordable. That uh, you can probably get your one bedroom studio for like five, seven hundred, six hundred. It also depends on the neighborhood in New Orleans. And New Orleans doesn't work like other cities. Well, I don't know of, but that I know of, it it works like this. Like you are gonna pay for the area. You're paying for the area. You're not really paying for the house. Like you can have a nice house, but if it's in the hood, then of course the value goes down. So, so that being said, yeah, if you want to come down to New Orleans, if you want to move to New Orleans, the time is now before everything shows, shoots up the roof, before it becomes this really big, monumentous metropolitan area like California or something. So, come now. All right, another thing is that, <laughs> which a lot of businesses, you already know this one, they receive a lot of tax breaks in New Orleans or in Louisiana. And that's why a lot of people are moving here. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. But anyway, we have culture, traditions, and um, history. Yes, the history. Like, I'm not going to be honest with you, okay? I don't even know all of the history, and I've been here all my life. There's so much history to learn about New Orleans. Um, so much culture here, so much, so many traditions. My favorite thing is the Indians um, and the second lines. People's second line here are for two reasons, and I don't even know any other reasons for death or if it's a marriage. Now, marriage thing, I never really, I think that's some type of new gentrified thing. I don't, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, that seems to be the two reasons why people do a second line if somebody has passed. <laughs> Or if they uh, somebody has a wedding or something, somebody just got married. So yeah, Super Sundays. I, I've never been to a Super Sunday, and I'm from New Orleans. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, I don't really see 
that's just not my my type of thing or whatever i would like to go see the indians and things like that uh but yeah it's always something that goes on in new orleans and it never to my next pro is the food <laughs> now every place you go in new orleans every restaurant like nine times out of ten the food is going to be really really good because i grew up here in new orleans and and i i really didn't get a lot of chances to like travel and taste other but when i did travel and taste other restaurants and other places and other cities and stuff like i really understood what people were raving about when they say the food is so good here it really like is okay like even if the gas stations they have like the best cooks like like the corner stoves, like they were fried chicken and stuff like that. Like they have like the best chicken ever. Like forget a five star restaurant. If you're looking for authentic gumbo, you have to go where the natives go. You can't go to five star restaurants and expect to see taste real gumbo. That's just an example. Another pro is that New Orleans is just a unique city overall. The homes are built differently. There are a lot of shotgun homes here. Shotgun homes are, are when your house is built, like it's literally a straight line through there. There's your living room. You walk in, you have your living room. Then you have your dining room. And then you have a bedroom. Then the bathroom will be on the side or the left, the left or the right. And then you have another bedroom. And then you have the kitchen. And you have a laundry room or whatever. And thus far, it's like a straight shot. There are no no doors in a shotgun house i actually hated shotgun houses but i've come to love them you know i've come to love them they're pretty cool because it helps the air circulate i don't know why the air is not circulating in this shotgun house but it's okay <laughs> the structure of the homes and the different art here in the city like oh my god that's like one of my favorite things you will see a lot of art here and uh yeah it's like we have our own bio we have our own language here we have our own language like we make groceries a lot of y'all go to the grocery store and pick up groceries but we here we make our groceries okay so don't tease us when you come down here all right anyway another pro <laughs> another pro that i like about new orleans well i'm gonna say a positive of the whole gentrification thing that's going on is that the neighborhoods are mixed um and i, I kind of like that because i feel like Look, guys, there's so many reasons why I like it. I don't, I don't even want to go into why I like it. But they're not in the mixed neighborhoods. Like, everywhere in New Orleans is a hood. Like, that's facts. But I'm going to tell another topic. God damn it. Anyway, the music. New Orleans has music everywhere. Like, I kind of miss it. I'm not quarantined right now. But that's all it is. It's going to be very. Lively Wilson. It's gonna be a citywide party, I promise you. And if you're watching this video and you're not in New Orleans, you might want to get out here because it's gonna be a US party. I guarantee you it's gonna be like a citywide party. Yeah. It's gonna be so much stuff. Anyway. Yeah, the music I said the music already. Yeah, the music. Yeah, the music is what really, 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 really awesome. Local artists, there's like people who like play instruments it's kind of like i don't know how to explain it but it's just awesome it's like the city is filled with talented people and they're so underrated to me like i don't want to stay in that but whatever the music here is awesome especially if you like jazz not really my birthday but i'm just saying another thing about like another pro is that you don't need a car but if you have one great um anywhere to get to the city in the city if you want to travel anywhere with a car it would be like 20 it'd be like 20 minutes or whatever but that's about it and uh you don't need a car you don't because it's a metropolitan area and everything is close to each other everything is either one bus ride away or two bus rides away depending on where you're going and the bus costs 125 yeah Transfer one fifty, all day pass three dollars. You can get like a monthly pass, which I get sixty five dollars. That's totally cheap <laughs> because I want to get to a con and I'm gonna bring this back up and you're gonna see why. All right, you don't need a car here. You can also bike. There was like they're incorporating a lot of like bike lanes right now, 
in the city, which is awesome. I'm sorry, I'm putting I'm just like, it's really, really hot up in here. <sighs> which is another con, and I'll get to that in a second. All right, good. The parks are great. My favorite park is City Park. It's so beautiful. All right, all right, and there's a lot of things to do here. I mean, there's a lot of things to do in City Park and stuff like that. Like, we have like Ottoman Park and different other different uh, Nora parks around the city. They all look they're pretty decent, you know, like you can Wusa there. My favorite is City Park. Ottoman Park is the closest to me, but you know, it's okay. And let's see, I said something about the second lines earlier. I said the second lines, if yeah, people want a second line for three, two reasons, weddings and funerals or you know, something like that. Sometimes we just freaking second line this because we're having fun, okay? We, it's gonna be a big ass second line after this, I'm telling you, after this whole quarantine thing. And this video is going way beyond what I wanted to do. Uh, I don't wanna be, I don't want it to be more than two minutes, but it is. Uh, so like, Another pro, and this is gonna be the last pro, because I keep thinking of stuff. <laughs> but anyway, um, another pro living in here in New Orleans is that like you don't have to worry about things closing down on you at 10 o'clock. New Orleans is a city that stays open. It never goes to sleep. If you, okay, wake up two o'clock in the morning, you want some chicken wings, you go down to the French Quarter, and you can get you some chicken wings and a beer the bars are always open if one place isn't open there's always something open especially downtown new orleans like if you want to drink one o'clock in the morning you go downtown and get you a drink they got liquor stores they be open at one o'clock in the morning you know we ain't talking about no chicken chicken and waffle not chicken and waffle on um, the waffle house hours like they be up like the waffle house hours like yeah, you can literally do that. The streetcar runs pretty much 24-7. Um, now, this is before the quarantine, okay? Before. <laughs> and we'll soon be after the quarantine. So, yeah, like, it's a big easy. And it's called a big easy for a reason. Like, you literally can do what you want. But don't kill people. I'm not bad. Don't do that. But yeah, you can do what you want when you want. You can walk up the street with a freaking beer in your hand and you don't have to worry about the police telling you anything because this is New Orleans. And that's what we do here. We drink and we drink and we drink and we drink and we freaking party on top of that. Yeah, so that's pretty much all the pros of living in New Orleans. If you know any, comment down below. I can't think of them all by myself. Help me out. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see y'all on part two, the con.